I don't see this on the vlog, you're gonna be homeless. Homeless? <laughs> yes, homeless. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. And that's Aspen. Hi mommy's baby. So y'all see Aspen, that means I am home in Houston. I just got here, oh wait, pause, hold on. For those of you that are new to my channel, and of her, all right babies. So. I've gained quite a few subscribers lately. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Please comment down below, introduce yourself to me. I always comment back. I might be a little late sometimes, but I always try to comment back or acknowledge your comment. So anyways, um, I am exhausted, y'all. I worked a flight last night back from San Francisco to New York, got to New York at 1 a.m., and then I caught a flight from... New York to Houston at 6 a.m. It is now 9.40 a.m. Houston time, and whew, I'm tired. But today is Red Day, Red Day, which is Keller Williams, the real estate company I'm with. Globally, everybody takes a day away from the office, and we go out and we serve our community, our prospective communities, and this is on a global level. So here in Houston, Texas, we are working um, the office that I'm particularly with because we have quite a few offices in Houston, but we are going to go to a Boys and Girls Club Inwood Association and help just kind of clean up um, the Boys and Girls Club. And it was vandalized a few years ago, a few times in a row. We went last year and did some work and we were doing continuous work and then Harvey hit and then kind of washed away all the good work that we did. So today for Red Day, we're going back there and we're gonna do some more work. I probably won't be there too long simply because I am just, I'm tired. But I wanted to show face, I wanted to get out there and help as much as I can. And then I'll come back home and chill for the rest of the day and lay with my dog, so let's go. All right, we're out here. Red Day is in full effect. I'm gonna go find some things to put my hands to work. It looks like they're knocking down fences and doing yard work and power washing all kind of stuff that I don't really have energy to do but I'm gonna try You did good work when you're dirty. Look, I'm dirty. That means I worked. Kind of. I'm going home, take a nap, y'all. I can't, I can't, I can't stay awake no more. Hey vlog. Hey vlog. <laughs> this is Lexi's mother. And think about this. I left the vehicle <laughs> and she didn't want to put gas back in it. What's wrong with that picture? She's not paying a rental fee. All I want her to do is fill my vehicle back up with gas when she picks me up or gives it back. Don't you cut that out of that blog? <laughs> okay, I know you do not. If I don't see this on the blog, you're gonna be homeless. Homeless? <laughs> yes, homeless. <laughs> what kind of Mother's Day love weekend is that? And she's leaving. It's Mother's Day weekend. To me! Yay! And she's leaving. Came yes. home and spend the weekend with her, and she mm -hmm. leaving. Spend your came home, spend the weekend with your dog. That's what you did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't be his playing. mother. Don't be playing. He has to show me Mother's Day love too. Mm, I wish somebody would show me some Mother's Day love. Anyways, mm, she's going to San Francisco yeah, yeah, with yeah. all of her sisters, in-laws, and bloods friends. and friends. 
they've started this Mother's Day ritual weekend thing where they leave their children on Mother's Day. Such a wonderful feeling. All you other mothers, y'all need to try. Where you live? Where's your shop? I can't. Where, where are we going? To the salon, Lexi. Oh, I'm thinking the other one. I yeah, don't know okay. why you drove this way. I don't know why I did either. Why yeah. you didn't say something? Because you don't like when I tell you how to drive. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, I'm dropping off mommy to go do a few heads. And then, I don't know, so I'm right. <laughs> taking my mother to her hair salon so she can do, That's so she like can style do. a few heads oh, before boy. she goes to the airport tonight. Mm -hmm. So, say happy Mother's Day to Mother. Happy Mother's Day, Mother. Happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there. <laughs> Have a great one. Run off and leave your children. <laughs> As I just became kind of hungry, I just thought about this. Are there not Jamba Juices like on the regular streets outside of like being in the malls and in the airports? I like Smoothie King, that's where I'm going, but I just something just popped up in my head and was like, dang, I've never seen a Jamba Juice just like in a shopping center. Let me know if y'all see them in shopping centers. I forgot to tell y'all what smoothie I got. I got, now I don't even remember the name. It's been like two hours since I got the smoothie. But it's like a matcha green tea smoothie. And I made it skinny and I put like mangoes in there and it's delicious. Mm. <laughs> so I'm making my way to pick up one of my aunts and then I'm gonna go pick up my mom and my other aunt and then I'm gonna drop them off at the airport so they can go on and have fun in San Francisco. I'm not too jealous because I was literally there yesterday. And y'all know I've, I'm, I'm there all the time. But you know, it's just like, I kind of want to crash the trip. Like, I might just pop up. Oh, they're coming back Monday. I was going to pop up Monday. Maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday I'll do a pop up and be like, hey, because Sunday is actually Mother's Day. Oh my God! I should do that. Shh. Don't tell mommy. <laughs> Let's go get my aunt. It always looks like nobody lives here in her house. Like, it's <laughs> such a dull house. <laughs> it's a never ending line. Jesus Christ. Good morning. So, y'all just saw that crazy line. I'm here at the DMV. I'm selling my car. Um, and somehow, the title to my car has gone missing. Somehow, AK, my stepdaddy lost it, but whatever. So, I mailed in the thing like a week or so. Probably longer than that, actually. Yeah, longer than that but they still haven't mailed the replacement title. So I decided to just come up here to the DMV to just get it. And this line is so crazy long. So it's 7.30 and they open at eight. So we'll see what happens. I'm all sniffling and stuff. This, this Houston, Texas, um, this allergies are killing me. I wish there was like preventative medicine for allergy. I don't really know if there are. If y'all know of like any preventative medicine, preventative medicine for allergies, please let me know. So it's 8:07 a.m. It opened at 8, and I'm all the way up to the front now. So the line is maybe about 30 people or so in. So that's good. Maybe I won't be out here all day. Y'all, I got so frustrated. I just stopped vlogging. First of all, I went to the wrong place the first time and then finally found the correct place and then didn't have a document I needed. So I had to drive all the way back to the north side of Houston where I live, like a 30 minute drive, drive all the way back, get back in line. Anyways, it's done over, I got what I needed. Now it's time to get a haircut. Yes, I love haircuts. We've been running all day, it's definitely lunchtime and one of my favorite places to eat in Houston. Alana. Can I have a small salad? I will have um, kale and spinach, please. Um, can I have 
going to have mushrooms, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes. That's that. You can throw in a little bit of corn there for me, please. Um, can I have some feta cheese? Um, a little bit of eggs. And um, the balsamic vinaigrette. Um, shrimp, please. And avocado. Um, that's it. So yummy. Be back home after ripping and running since 6.30 a.m. this morning. It's 150. I'm about to eat my salad. It looks so good. Yes, Salada. Hook a girl up. Nom 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 nom. Multitasking while I eat because Denver's always begging for belly rubs and any type of rub. <laughs> right, Mama? Oh, you're such a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. Aspen's under the chair, jealous somewhere. He's always jealous. That's more than enough. Look at this one. Jealous time. Stop being jealous, Aspen. You always get attention. It's time for attention for Din Din. Okay, Mama. Done. Go sit back down. Oh, this is your vlog. Yeah. She's still doing this? Y'all are tired of her? Oh my God. <laughs> I totally forgot that you do this, and I still think it's absolutely ridiculous. And the fact that y'all find her interesting is like beyond me. Twenty six years with her, and like I don't, I don't get it. Almost twenty seven. I don't get it. So, for all my new subscribers, <laughs> if you don't know who this big black boy is, this is my little brother Andre, who is a hater. Who is a hater? <laughs> I just can't support you in this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> the point of me whipping out the camera is we just watched Avengers Infinity War. And um, how do we feel about it, Ray? Marvel, <laughs> what the. What's good? We don't know what to think. I definitely don't know what to think. I don't, I don't read the comic books. But based on the movie, the last 10 minutes just had me like. And of course, a black guy died first. Like the first thing in the movie, <laughs> like he didn't die first. Nah, the oh the, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Anyways, guys, he wants froyo. Cause I bought movie tickets. So I buy the froyo. Whatever. I mean, that's only fair. That's fair. That's how this thing. Everybody's works. always talking about fair. Things that's, gotta be fair. That's how. Fair, my butt. Anyways, let's go. Where's the froyo at? I don't know. You want the fro, yo, but yeah, don't know the fro. Exactly. Are we both driving? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go back here. So, I just called my father on FaceTime, and he asked me if my earrings could get any bigger. I don't think they were <laughs> that big. They're actually really cute. They're very heavy, so I don't wear them that often. But I think they're a very cute hoop. Like, you know, not just the basic skinny. Right? I'm rocking them tell him who I am. <laughs> Good Saturday morning. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time to go work out. And ugh, I've been awake since 6.30. It's 7.45. I have somewhere to be at 9 a.m. And I laid in the bed contemplating if I was going to do this or not. And so I finally said, Lexi, just get up and go. So I'm about to run a quick, quick two miles and carry on with my day. Alrighty guys, so I finished up my run, took a quick shower. Now I'm here about to go into this seminar um, for NACA. It's the Neighborhood Association. Hold on, let me see exactly what the what they said. For. NACA, the Neighborhood Assistance Corporation of America. So basically they're um, a home buying program and I think they do a little bit more than just helping you purchase home. I think they do like saving foreclosures and something else I saw on the website but if any of you all watched my first vlog of the year or maybe it was my second one 
first or second video. I think it was my second video of the year. My, anyways, if you watch my 2018 goals, you know that one of my goals is to purchase a home. Um, it's not a 2018 goal. It's a year 30 goal. Um, and my mom, as some of y'all may know, we are both real estate agents. She's worked with people that have worked with this program before, and she says it's a really good program. I've never personally worked with anybody that's done this program, so I don't really know all the ins and outs of it. But that's why I'm here today, because you have to go to one of their seminars. It says the seminar is from like, it's like four hours long. I hope it's not four hours long, because I have things to do today. Um, but I'm just going to see what they're about. I know a little bit that, you know, it's not based off of credit. It's not really based off of your income and all kind of things like that. So once I um, complete the seminar and see what they say, I'll get back to y'all with more information on exactly how this program works. Because I, I know <laughs> from personal experience, from just being a realtor, there's so many people out here that want to buy homes but just really think it's like so far-fetched and impossible based off of their income and the money that they make and credit and all kind of things like that so I personally know that is you know that's not necessarily true there are a lot of great programs out here just like the one that I'm gonna learn about today so I will get back to y'all with more information once I'm done all right hey guys so the NACA program it wasn't four hours, it was Mother's Day weekend, so the lady over it was like, I'm not doing this all day, so she cut it down to like three hours. Um, and it was really informative for someone that really has no idea of how the real estate process works, how the mortgage loan process works, all of that, like, really super, super informative. Obviously, I already know a lot of that information just because I'm a real estate agent and I should know all of that information. But I did get a lot out of it because I didn't really exactly know what the NACA program was. So the NACA program is nationwide. You can find them pretty much in any major city in the U.S. 48 offices throughout the United States of Texas. <laughs> the United States of Texas. Might, we might as well be uh, the United States of Texas because the state is so big. I can, the heck, Alexia. Throughout the United States. Just period. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, just want to make sure I'm not wobbling. Yeah, wobble, wobble, wobble. Might be a little shaky. I'm driving. I'm driving kind of fast. I'm on the highway. Um, but what NECA is, they're basically the mortgage lender. So when you're buying a home, you have to go to the bank, Wells Fargo, or a private mortgage lender, or whatever the case may be. So NACA is basically the mortgage lender, but they qualify you differently than most mortgage companies do. They qualify you differently and they're not a government funded program. So a lot of the times when you use government funded programming, there's all kinds of stipulations to it. So NACA is not a government funded program. And the three perks to NACA that draw most people to them is that they advertise that you don't pay um, any down payment, you don't pay any closing costs, and it's not credit score driven. So basically from what I got from it, what they do is they bring you in, they look at everything like every other mortgage lender company does, but they qualify you based on what you can afford. So even if you do have a super low credit score, if you're not at that um, 620, you know, an up range is what most people need to qualify for a home if you're going through a regular bank, um, you don't necessarily have to have that. They just want to see that you have some money saved up. Um, and, you know, they, they they give you this whole book of all kind of things to do. And one of the pages is a budget. And they want you to literally write out every single thing that you spend for about a week. And then to see, you know, what your income is towards what your expenses is. And then they say, okay, well, then this is how much house you can afford. They still look at your credit report. It's not credit score driven, but it is, they, do, they do still definitely look to see, okay, are you paying your bills on time and things of that sort. So I might use the program. Um, they're going to email and set up, you know, your first appointment to come in and blah, blah, blah. I think it's a good program. Even, you know, just, you know, not having to pay closing costs and down payment because that's already, that's a lot of money if you have to pay that. That's, you know, about $5,000 depending on the cost of the home that you're buying and state, obviously. 
So not having to pay that is definitely a win. And you can also use other programs with NACA. So like here in Houston, um, we have a city of Houston. Um, oh God. Uh, my mind just went blank. But basically, there's a program that the city of Houston does. Like if you're buying a home and they'll give you you know, a certain amount of money, fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. You can still use that with the NACA program, and I know many other states have their own programs. So I really just kind of wanted to fill y'all in on that. I think it's a really cool program. Um, if you're looking to buy a home and you're not really sure where to start or what to do, just Google it. Go to, or not even Google it. Just go to NACA.com. I'll put it down here, um, but it's NACA.com, I think, or .org. Um, neighborhood association something 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 I told y'all earlier um, but yeah I just wanted to fill y'all in on that um, now I am heading to it's graduation weekend here in Houston um, a few colleges have graduated this weekend and my best friend's little brother graduated so I'm headed to his graduation party and then I'm heading to an engagement party after that y'all are probably like why is Alexia always driving when she's in her Houston vlogs and it's because I'm always on the go like never non-stop when I come home so talk to y'all later I just want to say you know thank you for everybody coming out everybody in here is family you know whether we see each other every day or not talk every day but everybody in here is family and uh, y'all help me get to this point and I just you know I say I really appreciate it you know everybody has their own special role in my life and give me give me here you know? so, it's been a long time coming but you know I'm finally here and this is the next chapter. Okay, y'all. So this is the bride to be, my friend Brittany. Say hi. And look what I just got. Hold it. It says, Will you be my bridesmaid? And I cried. <laughs> and then I said yes. <laughs> Good morning. So it is Monday. So let me catch y'all up over the last day. Yesterday I flew to San Jose, California had intentions of spending the day with a friend and then this morning I was going to take an Uber to San Francisco to surprise mommy and the aunties on their last day of their trip but once I started checking the loads yesterday which I should have done beforehand I don't know what I was thinking the loads were not looking good in my favor and I did not want to get stuck in San Francisco so I just decided that I'm not the truck is making so much noise I just decided not to do that, so um, I'm I'm about to head to the airport now, to San Jose Airport. I stopped at this Hannah's Hannah's Coffee. They have like little bagels and smoothies and stuff. Get a little bite to eat, and now I'm gonna head back to New York. But I have some um, positive space um, mint tickets for my airline, and I really need to use them. I have quite a few. So I decided to fly from San Jose to Seattle and then do Seattle to JFK just so I can fly our mint experience. As y'all know, I work the mint cabin. So it'll be nice to actually get to fly it and relax and not have to, you know, sit in the core seat for a five hour flight, five and a half hour flight. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just in here waiting on the Uber now. I'm gonna eat this little breakfast and go on about my day. So I made it to the airport. Check-in was easy with Southwest. I didn't have to wait for a boarding pass. I got position C35, it's not that great, but whatever, at least I'm on the plane, that's all that matters. So San Jose to Seattle, and then Seattle to New York. So I've made it to Seattle, and I am finally on board um, aircraft heading back to JFK. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, love. Looking at you, anything else? I just got my rose. And as soon as we get up in there, I'm about to lay it back and go to bed. <laughs> guys i'm finally back to new york it is like midnight i am about to watch westworld and call it a night hope y'all enjoyed this vlog until next time make sure you subscribe like and share bye